this Relax and Paint morning, and I'm excited to share with you something that is so much fun. This is a little hint. Guess what we're going to do? This is one of those sour foam or foam pumpkins, and this is a perfect season to paint on these, and I have a little story to share with you. I have an amazing one of my teachers, Diana Seastrand, and she's here in Florida. She has great Etsy store and she is painting pumpkins with one stroke designs. And she said, Donna, make sure you have something on pumpkins for my followers to come and, and, um, and see some of those simple strokes. Now, she could do this herself, but you guys are ordering so much. She's having such a good time. She makes wonderful wreaths, and she paints amazing, and she's a great teacher. So I said, I'll go get a pumpkin, and today I'm doing a pumpkin with you, all right? With some fun, easy strokes that I probably shared with you before. But she has white pumpkins, all kinds of pumpkins. And when I went, there were some beautiful gray ones, so it would be really pretty with just gray and white and so floating medium and white paint would make a beautiful stroke so this is i even went on TikTok and i did a pumpkin on TikTok for teenagers and younger people who go there and it just went crazy overnight <laughs> so let's get going and let's pick up our brush our acrylic paint so we're using multi-surface acrylic paint right and so you can go to onestroke.com for all your painting supplies that i'm going to be sharing with you and let's get started so what i wanted to share with you is that this is an, a time uh, thanksgiving thoughts during this time of the year instead of negative oh my gosh when is 2020 going to be over <laughs> so uh, and it's not funny i know so I want you to see that the sun's starting to come in my room pretty bright. Oh, I got a pumpkin that has a blister in it, but guess what? I'll be painting over that. All right, so I'm gonna use my three quarter inch flat one stroke brush, all right? Now, this is what comes in my 10 piece set. All right, you have a variety of brushes that I like to use, flat brushes and all kinds of flat brushes because I mostly use those. And you have scruffies and liners and the big three quarter inch flat brush. And these are about $16. I don't know when you're gonna be looking at this, but they're perfect because they have the brushes I use the most, okay? So let's pick up a couple colors to get started with. All right, so I dampen my brush and my water. I lay it on the paper towel. All right, now I usually use floating medium. Floating medium is the fluff that's inside the acrylic paint with no color in it, all right? But on this, I don't think we're gonna need it on this slick surface. So, so what I'm gonna decide is I'm gonna paint something right here. You can do jack-o'-lanterns or whatever, or I'm gonna do a border like Diana did. So let's pick up our magenta and white. Okay, I'm going to go right here. If you have a, my double loader, that helps you too. So the double loader will help you control your strokes so you don't make a mess. Now I'm pushing hard because I don't want it muddy. And that's why the double loader helps you. And on my practice strokes on Fridays, you can see how I use that. All right, so I can dip a little bit of yellow just to tone it down a little bit. Okay, let's do some of those rosebuds. Now, if I'm working, going around here, I'm gonna have one come up here. So it paints so easy on this pumpkin. Okay, I've got one there and I'm gonna wander around. Now you can use a smaller brush, but I'm used to this big brush because it'll make your petals look a little, delicate all right but let's come here i really didn't see there was this blister on here but we can fix that see that i can just paint something over that and you don't have to seal this with a sealer or spray sealer afterwards because 
it'll hold up outdoors or indoors because it has a sealer in the paint. All right, I paint this on mailboxes and all kinds of surfaces. Glass, ceramic. See that? Oh, we got a big spot here, so let's go a little bit more. So if you're going to put this inside a wreath like Diana does, she um, might not have to paint all the way around. All right. So there we go. Now I am going to go down to a 12. I want you to see that here's our 12. This is a flat brush still. And so you'll have my Donna Dewberry value pack that I just showed you, or you can have my signature brushes. They're lavender and the specialty brushes that come with it are, are my florals, all right? And there's 13 brushes in that one. They're higher quality brushes, but all my brushes work really well for what we're doing. Okay, so let's put a vine next, all right? So let's pick up some citrus. And that sun, I need to close the blind. <laughs> the early morning sun coming up. Okay, so I've got that full of paint. All right, so I'm going to actually pick up a little bit of white and work that in. You notice I pat on the paper towel and take off the water first. So I'm going to push, and these have got little ridges, so you might want to do short little strokes, okay? And I also have some great metallics. If you go to onestroke.com, there's all kinds of color shift and metallic. And so these are shimmery and these colors look, they have this iridescent look to it. Those are good, especially on um, even the pumpkins that are white in different colors. Diana Seastrand, she's pretty amazing. When she moved to town, her and her husband came to my studio first thing, I was so excited to make a new friend. Okay, now look at this. We're going to take and wander the vine. Can you see that? And some people take and cut their pumpkins in half when they're putting them in wreaths because they go further and it's half the price. Now, I did buy this at Hobby Lobby. And I know that Michael's had a big sale a week ago, but I, who knows when you're getting this. One of the great things my friend did, she told me, uh, is that she went last year and paid like a dollar and 50 cents for pumpkins when the season was over. I always think I'm going to do that, but not always do that. So think about something. If you're creating, that's a God-given talent. And sometimes you don't know that you have the talent, but when we paint together and you're watching me create something and you want to paint it really bad, that's a, that's a really good desire. So I want you to think about something. I want you to think about how uplifting it is to create. And we all have talents. We're supposed to find those talents and embellish those talents. All right, so is this kind of fun? So my daughter, before she passed away, um, she, she died the day before her 23rd birthday. But um, when she was probably about, 11, you know, in between 11 and 13, somewhere in there, we were at, Bach Tower in Florida, a, a beautiful garden with a tower that um, plays chimes. And when we were there, there was a sign that said, make you 
the world a little bit. Put you, how did I say that? Putting beauty in this world makes it a better place. There's a beautiful verse like that. And it says, make you the world better by putting a little beauty in it. And she goes, mom, you do that. So since she's passed away, I think of many times of how she liked how we painted together. And she had no cause of death. She just passed away. So it was her time to go to Heavenly Father. And she's still busy doing his mission up there and watching over her other, her, my grandchildren. <laughs> but I have to tell you, she's missed. So those beautiful things that she said and our loved ones say to us are great memories. So I'm gonna go right over this. Now, I want you to see by us putting some beauty in it, by us creating, we're adding a little bit more beauty to the world. Now you can put a few more leaves or do a little bit of wisteria. See how I wound it up and around down and up and around. So if you notice, I put a rosebud, a rosebud, right? I know I am making these so much longer, but I want to show you that I'm going to fluff a scruffy. Fluff a scruffy. Okay. All right. So one of the things that we can do with this dry scruffy brush, I created this brush, is this one is um, a half inch. Yeah, I'm going to pounce. I always just made them out of old brushes that get frazzled. But um, now I have my own. And so they're, they're, they're numbered by sizes. <laughs> I took my first one was a three quarter inch flat brush that got all messed up. And so I had a brush made like that. So this is a three quarter and I mean, a half and then I have a quarter inch. Now this is aqua and white. I want you to see what happens. Now I'm going to have the white up and I'm going to pounce. And I just thought this aqua and white would look really pretty on the orange pumpkin. I did orange because it's traditional, but as you see, Miss Diana did some beautiful white ones, but pastel colors. There's everything you can imagine. I really wanted the gray one, but I thought I'm only going to have time to do one for y'all. You see how it's a wisteria hanging and it's not purple. It's, hear that? Tap, 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 tap. Now do you notice I'm keeping the white up. And then I lean in on its edge to get a little tail. Okay, isn't that kind of fun? Tap, 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 tap. These are beautiful designs that Miss Diana does. So if you want to do all daisies, if you want to do just wisteria and butterflies, last year I did, I covered an entire pumpkin, purple pumpkin with flowers. All right, so now the last um, thing I'm going to add on here is I like the way that Diana did lots of larger daisies. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm going to take this 12 flat and do a little bit of daffodil yellow with wicker white. So aqua, citrus green, sap green. People say I forget to tell y'all, so I'm going to try to say it again. Magenta and white were the rosebuds. Aqua and white is the wisteria. And all the vines and all were citrus green, sap green with a little bit of white where I put the citrus green. Now we're going to make a daisy. I make a mess on here. Look, flat. You want it flat so you have a chisel. See the chisel? Okay, now watch what happens. 
I'm going to go one. I'm going to do a clock. Three o'clock. Six o'clock. Nine o'clock. All right. And then I pick up more paint. And I can just do one in between. And then we're going to pass the center. Or I'm going to come up here. Watch this. One. Two, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. See, it gets kind of funky when it goes in a ridge. All right. I want, just think, putting little designs like this on greeting cards. Paint real live pumpkins. That's what I do. Instead of this, these foam pumpkins, I paint real pumpkins and put them outside my front door. In Florida, they don't last too long, so these pumpkins are better. But I just want you to know, my friend has a pumpkin farm, watermelon farms and pumpkins. And she just messaged me this morning and said, there's five lined up at my fence for you to come pick up. So she always gives them to my family, and I get to go around and pass them to some of my kids. Let's get bigger. See, I messed that one up, so I just go a little bit bigger. Now, this is pushing heart. Push, lift. Push down, lift. Push down, lift. Any flowers that you want to learn are on my practice stroke. Every Friday, I put a new one up, and I even give you homework. Okay? So, can you see? It's just kind of loose going around. Oops, right there. All right, here, I want to show you a different uh, different daisy. Skinny, skinny, skinny. All right, so look, I can put multiple ones in here. You notice it doesn't look as good over there when I'm on a ridge. A little bit longer, a little bit skinnier. Push, lift, push, lift. Okay. So there's different shapes and different kinds. And then I can just take my handle of my brush. And I, it might be even pretty to put aqua in the middle. Now, remember what I said, pastel ones are pretty too. You can put one big dot. Or you can put little dots. So this is called dip dotting. Dip into my paint with the handle of the brush. Fresh paint. Dip, 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 dip. The key is to be careful not to lay this down because you will mess up what's in the back. <laughs> dip, dip, dip. Now see how those aren't nice dots? So if you get fresh paint, each dot's really nice. Dip, dip, dot. See that? Different sizes. All right, now I do have one more brush. Are you taking a deep breath and relaxing? Relax and paint. So relax and paint was created for all you out there who just want me to go a little bit slower. You want to create, but... They want me to think it out for you. All right, that's a little dark. All right, I'm going to turn it upside down. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Now, look, I put a little bit more citrus in it than sap. See that? And come here. That was pretty dark, so I need to add a little bit more. So, all right, I didn't make this. Usually I make it a little inky. I didn't make this inky because it's a shiny pumpkin and I want it. See how I curl? And then I can curl again. I'm, af I'm afraid if it's inky, it'll roll off of here. All right, see that? Because they have lots of tendrils. 
Oh, I forgot. I got to turn this so y'all can see it. Here, I'll move my hand up here. Now, see, you can't see that, so I'm going to go again. Oops, I'm shaking now. And what's great about this is I don't like that. So I can take water and my clean brush, and I can wipe it off. You like that? You can fix it. Okay, so I'm going to come back in here and add some light green to this because I was still not happy with what I did. So look, just add a little bit of light green or a little bit of white. And let's see if I add a little bit of white. That's pretty too. See, I can come around here. See, so just brighten it up. And you want to sign them. Okay, I hope you guys like that. Just for you guys today. One more look. All right, so we're coming around with flower daisies, wisteria, leaves, rosebuds, all the way around. And you don't even have to seal it. It's ready. There you go. Have a great week. Go get some pumpkins and paint, paint, paint. Love you guys. Bye-bye.